Hey everybody, welcome to Next Commentary playing Zoe Midlane versus Iberalia. Super fun matchup. Don't think that champion is ridiculous, especially versus mages like me. Um, extremely excited. Love it. Yeah, Irelia is a champion that basically even if you bubble her, normally she can just kill you through that. If you try to poke her, she'll just immediately jump on you and kill you, and if you... <sighs> don't do anything with the bubble, then you're not doing anything, so you just can't win no matter what. It feels really crappy. She went Ignite, so playing very aggressive, no cleanse, no TP. Can't get hit by her early on uh, with the stun. Obviously, me saying that you shouldn't get hit by it doesn't mean that like I'm gonna like not get hit by it. It's probably gonna happen. I mean, it's not a easy skill shot to dodge in the first place, so... <clears throat> we will see how it goes. We will see. I think we should prep the wave. Let's try something. Prep the wave level 1 with 1Q. Make it so now it is pushing towards her. Try to get level 2 advantage early on. Maybe I can do something. Q, Q, Q. Oh, just one Q. Ooh, I almost got her with that. To be honest, that trade wasn't that good for her. She probably should have not done that. Ugh, isn't that crazy? I think your Q did so much damage there. Well, that's a losing fight for sure. Because, uh, it's slow pushing towards her, so... It begins. That Irelia Snowball camp begins. Because she could probably perma-freeze from this point onwards. And or I get ganked. Okay. Zed went top. I don't need to help with bot lane at all. Maybe I need to help with top. You're just instantly dead? No? Oh, maybe not. Oh, that was pretty impressive, actually. Man, these guys are playing so damn aggressive versus this guy. I'm surprised, like, just no respect at all for any roam potential from a humongous crashing wave mid. That has to be frustrating for Irelia. Like, I mean, you are in a perfect situation to basically win the game versus me in that spot, but the team just threw it away for her. That is really unfortunate, man. I'm surprised that we're not ganking this guy when she's flashless and up this far. Holy shit, Nico came in zooming so fast there. Oh, she has Predator. I was like wondering how she came in so quick. That was insane. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the help, team. I appreciate that. Zed, you are so annoying, man. Really? For real? You're gonna do that to me? You know what? Fine, man. I'll stay. Oh. Oh, no. Talia's tilting. And that sounds like a pretty big tilt with all those pings going off.
Hey, you missed stun, right? So I have a chance of surviving here. Thank you very much for the assistance, Nico. Once again, we're just ganking her because she is an Irelia, so she can still die if she doesn't play waves correctly. Honestly, this Irelia, in my opinion, is not seeming like uh, she is like challenger, challenger proficient at it. Because I have played versus Irelias where, in my opinion, this sh these ganks wouldn't be wor oh nice wouldn't be working. Alright, good advantage. Now, do we just win the game from here on out? Probably not. Can still lose. Can also still die mid and throw away everything. Very easily. Um, just because I have some AP now doesn't really mean much. Unfortunately for us, it's like if I get really fed, I still have to make sure that I never die. And if she gets really fed, I would say that she could probably still like 1v3, depending on how fed she is. But... We'll see how it goes. She's still farming just fine, too. Phase checked her there. Ouchie. Just wanted to get some vision control down, man. Thank you very much for the assistance, once again, with the ganks. Part of using Irelia basically constantly playing aggressive. Very nice teammates. And we're lucky that we have this lead, man. Like, imagine if Irelia was ahead. I, I feel like a lot of these things could fail immensely hard. Immensely hard. Alright, this Zed is actually, like, even level with me. I'll be completely honest. I don't think I win a fight versus him 1v1. I think the best chance that we have if we're going to fight him would be like maybe if I'm like one level above, like maybe seven or something, but we're not. But I think we can shove this out extremely quickly here before uh, anybody else comes mid. So we can just get a quick base off. Now, in most cases, I would never go Oblivion Orb, but let's just try it. See if it actually is effective at all. It, it normally is just... It doesn't really do much versus Irelia. Normally she still heals plenty because it's only 40% damage or healing reduction, so it's not worth. We'll see though. I have 100% KP right now. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> no. Way. I just messed that up that hard, huh? Got one. Hmm? Thank you very much, Nico. You actually kind of saved everything there with that amazing ulti. I'm actually not going to walk into Irelia just in case, man. I don't want to... Okay, cool. We see her now. I'm just going to make it so we at least see her on the wave before face checking. I don't have 
uh, flash up, so it's a little scary. Yeah, that Nico ulti was so big for us. My Kennen ulti could have been huge. I could have just straight up died there if I got stunned and it, like maybe he had flash or something and then like Zed would probably ulti me straight afterwards. I'm gonna save my uh, bubble and not use it unless I think that either I it won't put me into a punishing position and or I know it will almost guaranteed be hitting. Yumi has no heal or ult if she comes mid with Zed, at least, so I know I won't get snared. It's actually a pretty important thing. Oh, that's actually a pretty big hit there. I really wanted to bubble, but it's probably not going to happen. Damn. I'm trying to anticipate her Q, but it's pretty difficult to do. I'm really close to my item. That's what I'm kind of waiting on right now. Just so at least my next base will be a humongous power spike for me. Okay, cool. We got it. Well, one death can basically throw the entire game into a state that we might... Right now, I feel confident we will win. If I die, especially to a high-value target that can really use the 1,000 gold, it could flip on its head. So I'm going to really, really care about not dying here. So I'm going to probably not do any crazy plays. I don't want to throw away the game on accident. Poor Lowy's paying, my goodness, 120. I land a single bubble, I and mean, they just kind of die. Are you gonna eat me? No. Okay. I guess I can go bot if we really want. Don't have any follow up on that. I really just want to pressure more than anything else. She's ignited, and I hit that Q. It's huge damage there. Nice. Very solid. Now we can't get ourselves killed by face checking into these guys here. That is a pretty unfortunate mid death. Well, we have flash up, thankfully, so. Alright, uh, nobody's mid lane, so I'm just gonna go for it. 
Assuming I can just catch top. Dang, the thing expired. Let's hope that Irelia cannot do anything here. One and five, by the way. One and five. And she almost 1v2'd. <laughs> Bonkers, man. Alright, let's back up. See what we can maybe purchase here to win. I think Zonius is probably pretty important. Let's hope that going airplane mode isn't griefing. Got the 10 stacks. Could turn into a really bad game if we die now. We do have Zanya's plus flash though. Could be huge. That guy actually has more AP than me. Two more AP. But it's still more. I think we should do Rift. Should have done Rift. Will do Rift. I think we should be creating fights, to be honest. So I think doing Rift is just what we need. If they want to contest, then we can look for like bubble fishing and stuff. Like We're not going to win the game by just literally waiting. This guy might face check. A little bit of damage there. You know what? It's actually too risky to go that way. <laughs> I'm not, I guess. Okay, we got the rift. Very nice. I like it. Oh. That's pretty unfortunate, man. Just need to create an angle somewhere. Who was that, Irelia? Uh oh, he took it. That's pretty crappy. I don't really like Randwins. Okay, Zed's mid at least, we know. We can hit this tower because Talia was halfway staying together with me. Nice wave clear. Very solid. Good Nico ulti, that's huge. Alright, massive bubble, nice. Okay, the game is now into a, like, basically, I would say, like, if there was a percent chance of winning, it's like 80 to 90% chance of winning at this point. Before all of that, I would say it would be a solid 70, 70, 30. But now that we got more stacks on this, and even if we do throw, I feel like we got enough objectives off of it that we can maybe still work with it. I think I'm just going to go for uh, my next uh, item that I could just straight pull by here, which is the Oblivion Orb. Ooh, this guy's building Banshees. Actually, maybe I just go straight Void Staff. Void Staff, even when people like aren't super MR heavy, is still really effective. Very cost efficient item. Almost at all points into the game. It's pretty insane. 
Like the value of it, I think is like if you it like breaks even at like 55 MR and 55 MR is only mercs. Like, so it's super effective right there. And like, like even Twitch, it's almost effective. It's still like 90% cost effective or something. I don't know. It's crazy how good it is. Uh, Damn scuttle. Well played. Huh? Kill one. There's a lot of flashes on the ground. Oh my god, how do they get there so fast? That was ridiculous, man. Zed. Oh, they FF'd. Okay, nice. They didn't even want to try playing it out. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the Zoe commentary. Uh, lots of great plays from support and jungle, because that's just how Challenger works, I'll be completely honest. Uh, recently, my, my games trying to record today for YouTube have been super hard in terms of just... There's nothing really you can do if you don't really get help. It's it's more team-based than ever. So. Anyways, still hope you guys enjoyed the Zoe commentary. It's a bit of a slower game. Still did a lot of damage. Still got some good plays off, I imagine. But we played towards our advantages. Successful with it. And I will see you guys next time.